do a few of these every year. Um, specifically there are certain topic areas and kind of targeted towards certain groups. So today, of course, we want to spend some time talking about um, millennials, but not in the sense that most folks talk about millennials. What, we want, what we're doing today is acknowledging millennials as a vital part of the workforce going forward. One of the things we know from all the research, um, all the feedback that I've gotten from folks within, within membership, everything that we've kind of read about it, is that while they represent the largest workforce available to us now, there is an interesting collision, if you will, or a gap, or a black hole. And what that represents is the difference between in the group of individuals who are coming forward, but the skill gap for, for moving into leadership roles. And so part of our responsibility today is to talk about what are those key leadership skill areas that millennials will need to move forward and accelerate their leadership path. All right, so we will, we've assembled a phenomenal group of presenters who are skilled in specific areas that are designed to make millennials much more effective in leadership roles. So we want to spend some time talking about, about who they represent as a population We'll start to get into skilled areas, but the whole idea is we've identified the key six skilled areas that any of them will need in terms of moving forward. So could think of this as you being ahead of the curve, because we know from everything we've seen in research, and that Avery will confirm that, Juanita will confirm that, Eric will confirm that, we know that everything that we've read from research says this skill gap is a coming. And when it does hit, it represents an interesting productivity issue for most organizations. What we are doing right now is saying, let's get ahead of the curve. Let's start to look at what those skills are. Let's get folks skilled in those skills so that they can go back into their organization and move forward. And so dude, we're, happy to, we're happy to put this on. We think it's a good step in the right direction. And so we're ready to get, this, get the whole thing started. So you all know me. I'm leaving, right? You all know me? <laughs> okay. All right, good. Um, so we got some more to give who I am. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, Brenda Miller is here. She's done. Um, she's one of my former students, colleagues, person that I love, and all that. Whenever we do these events, she always says, "Can I come help?" And so she'll be taking videos and pictures and those kinds of things, all with the idea of helping helping everyone in the room. Um, and so we just got we got a great day a, a great day planned. So let me give you a, let me give an introduction to uh, one of our sponsors, Ambassador to come up and just say a few words about who she is and what she represents, she'll be with us all day. Uh, Demetria Bradford is with Athletic, and thanks to her, her being able to talk with the organization, we did get a little bit of sponsorship from her, so I'm gonna ask her to come up and say a few words. Please welcome Demetria, one of my sponsors. Good morning, good morning, everybody. Again, as we said, my name is Demetria Bradford. I am with Athletic, and I'm quite sure everybody knows about the duck. If you know anything about Athletic, you know it has to do with the duck. I just wanted to share a brief words with you exactly what AFLAC is and how it could be beneficial either for your company or someone that you may know. Even entrepreneurs are able to utilize this tool. So AFLAC is basically set up to be put in place to help people be able to maintain household bills, household income, whatever it is that they have in the event that they are injured or hurt on or off work. So the reason this is actually beneficial to a lot of companies, because a lot of companies we know today cannot afford benefits to offer benefits to their employees. So it's an opportunity and a way for them to offer benefits because AFLAC benefits are not um, charged to the employer and it's free, uh, free of cost to them. So it's actually basically everything is coming through the employee's check in order to be able to receive these benefits. And a lot of people don't know that, they just think insurance. Well, if you actually know the acronyms for AFLAC, it's actually American Family Life Assurance Company. When they actually started out in 1955, it was the insurance company, so now it's the assurance company. So I like to call it insurance for your insurance. It actually works out that way because if a company does offer major medical to their company, this actually benefits the employer, or excuse me, the employee even better because we pay all of our policyholders directly. Whereas Major Medical Blue Cross, all of them, they pay the actual medical bills where we pay our the actual client directly to give them that opportunity to make the decision on what they want to do with that money, okay, if that makes sense. 
So if they don't have major medical, they can use their AFLAC benefit to either pay towards that bill, and if they do have major medical, any payouts that they get from AFLAC, they can either use that towards the medical bill or pocket it if their major medical pays for everything. Um, AFLAC does have about 10 different policies that we offer. It's not just your average policies that we have with uh, supplemental insurance. We have a cancer policy, we have an accident policy, which is one of our main and major policies because it covers you 24 seven on and off the job. So with just a lot of you being in the positions that you are, if, you're, if you know anyone um, that needs to possibly get this opportunity into their um, company to be able to offer benefits to their employees or if they already offer benefits and looking to basically become more competitive in whatever area that their company may be in, <coughs> that is a way that they can actually do that by offering a supplemental in addition to their major medical or just offering benefits. Uh, period. We've been able to help a lot of companies that, especially the smaller ones, mom pop shops or just smaller up and coming businesses that cannot afford to offer benefits right now. They've been able to utilize this tool as a way of offering their employees benefits and they're very inexpensive, very inexpensive. We have packages that are pretty much conducive for anyone's budget. And we allow you to, all the policies are sold a la carte as well, so it allows people to be able to keep the policies within their own budget and they can build as they need it. So it's not just providing them with one big package that they can't afford and they just say no to the whole thing. So I just wanted to share a little bit of that. Again, we have about 10 different policies. There's a cancer, again, the accident. We do offer life insurance as well. Uh, I will say briefly, the cancer policy was one of the first policies that AFLAC came out with in 1955. The story behind AFLAC, it was three brothers that actually had a neighbor whose son had cancer. And they were pretty well off, but they ended up losing everything due to the son having cancer and all the medical bills that they inquired. They lost everything. And they didn't think that that was fair. So they came up with a tool that would be able to assist people in still being able to take care of household bills in case in the event something happens. It's not their fault nor the child's fault that they got that the baby got cancer. So that's basically the story behind AFLAC and how it basically can be of a tool and a benefit to the employees within the company. So I just wanted to briefly share that with you guys. And if you have any questions, I'll be here all evening. I have cards and pamphlets if you need any questions. I'll be more than happy to answer. Thank you. Thank you.